first things first. <laughs> Hi there. So today I am outside and it is a beautiful, wonderful, sunshiny blue sky with a few clouds here and there. And I've got a few hours before I have to be uh, at youth group tonight. So I thought I am going to take advantage of this beautiful weather and get out here and just clean up the rest of my gardens. I don't have too much to do. Um, at this point, the hosta leaves have almost like completely melted. So I probably don't even need to use my pruners or anything like that. I can just probably get a rake out and just rake back the leaves. Uh, so I'll go around, I'll do that. I really want to tackle the other side of my house where, where I've, I've got, got like freaking snake station over here. Uh, so we will get the, the rake and rake that out. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at it and see if the cold weather has killed any more of the hosta. Yeah, so this is the area I'm talking about right over here. And the Japanese maple has dropped all of its leaves, the hosta. I might have to cut some of those green ones back, but for the most part, it's all pretty much died back. I can just come in here with my rake and rake it out. I might have to cut those back. And then honestly, it might still be, I might even be able to pull that off. Sometimes, nah, no, not yet. I'll have to break that off, or I'll have to, I'll have to cut that one off. All right, well, let's go get my rake and my um, leaf bag and we'll get going on it. Go clean it up. <laughs> wow, this sky is so beautiful and the sun is so nice and warm. I'm loving it out here. All right, so I'm going to start tackling all these melted hosta. What is it, 
bud? Did you get a present? So it's the next day and I actually had to get going to youth group. I don't know why, but I always think I can get done way more than I actually have time for. So like I said, it is the next day and I'm actually uh, working from home today. But the FedEx guy just came and dropped us off a present. So I think I'm gonna take a little break from work and uh, put this together for Max. And uh, it's just one of those like cat towers. I never, I never thought I'd have like a cat tower in my house, but I guess times are changing. <laughs> so um, I thought, you know what? We can finish up the garden uh, another day, maybe maybe later today once I'm done with work. But I'm just gonna take a little break here, get this put together, and I thought maybe you guys wanna come along. So let's go. All right, buddy. We gotta read the uh, instructions. First things first. I think I'd creep my doggish ways 
If you take me for your groom, you got me chasing rabbits, picking out rings and howling at the moon. What do you think, boy? Okay, so <laughs> this is way bigger than I thought. I honestly, I thought it was gonna be like probably about this high, like up to my chest maybe, and it's like taller than me. So, um, I'm not very good at math or numbers, so I didn't even bother looking at the, uh, the inches or height or depth or whatever. Uh, but, I think he likes it. Do you like it, buddy? Yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun. Yeah. So anyway, I think this thing is awesome. I mean, there's all kinds of little things. There's three little balls he can play with, and then at each one of the balls, there's like a little rattle. Uh, he's gonna love these two hiding spots. His favorite thing to do is play hide and seek. Uh, he, we could play that all day long if he'll, if if I if I play. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. He's gonna love um, all these scratchy things too. So each one of these posts has like a scratch pad on it. This is a nice little scratch pad as well. Uh, so, and then this is just kind of a little hangout spot, but all these have like some nice cushy uh, spots that he can hang out on. Uh, he, I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know where I'm gonna put this big sucker, but um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of a spastic movie, but uh, we got some gardening done and we spent a little time with Max and got him a nice little toy to play with. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here. It's kind of giant. Uh, I might move it to uh, the basement or somewhere else, but for no right now we can keep it here. And then uh, hopefully once I get my work done today, I can get back outside, but we'll save that for another movie. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you just enjoyed spending some time with Max and I and getting some things cleaned up in the garden. See you later. Bye.